guys, it's Janiksa and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my OPI nail polish collection. I will just say uh, once again, this one will probably be just a collection. I am not sure how many OPIs I will actually de-stash if I de-stash any at all. So we'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and get into it. I may actually, you know what? I actually may have to split this video into two because I have quite a bit of OPI, so we will see how it goes. All right, first up, I have positive vibes only. This one is really pretty, but I don't like the fact that it dries to a like semi matte finish, but of course. That's nothing a glossy top coat won't fix. Next up, we have Tile Art to Warm Your Heart. And we all know that OPI does such beautiful blues. Always love their blues. Next up, we have I'm on a Sushi Roll. This one needs a little bit of a shake. I really like this one. I have a bunch of residue there from a TJ Maxx sticker, so don't like that, but love this color. Next up I have Do You See What I See? And this is really pretty, shimmery. I enjoy these types of shades. Then we have I'm Not Really a Waitress, and this one is an OPI classic. We all know that. It's really beautiful. I haven't worn it yet. As you guys know, I'm not big into reds, but I definitely want to give this one a try. Next up, we have Show Us Your Tips, and I just love these um, shimmery shades from OPI. They're so pretty, and they usually apply so nicely. This one is a favorite, and it also kind of matches the Pantone color of the year, so this is really pretty. Next up, we have Arigato from Tokyo. I love these kinds of pinks. I know I have a ton of them in the OPI formula and in other brands' formulas, but I don't care. I will always love them. Then we have Como Se Lama. This one is really gorgeous. That whole collection, I think, was it the Peru collection? I'm not sure, but it was just really beautiful. Then we have Exotic Birds Do Not Tweet. It's an OPI yellow, and honestly, we don't get a ton of OPI yellows, so I really would love to see more and I would love to see them, you know, perfect the formula where we won't ever need more than two coats, just like they've perfected the formula for the reds and the blues. I'd love to see a perfected yellow formula from OPI. Next up, we have Alpaca My Bags. I absolutely love this one. Really beautiful. Oh gosh, I love doing these videos because then I revisit colors that you kind of forget that you have. Next up we have La Positively Hot. This one is really pretty. It has like that little flash right there. You're getting it right on top of the bottle there. Really gorgeous pink. Next up, we got Susie, the first lady of nails, and I absolutely love this color. This is fall in a bottle. It is perfection. Oh, so beautiful. Yes, a lot of these do need to be shaken up, but honestly, I kind of hurt my wrist the other day when I was shaking up a bunch of polishes, so we're just going to pretend that they look fine. <laughs> Next up, I have eye manicure for beads. And just like the pinks, I know I have a ton of OPI purples, but I love them all and they will all be staying with me. <laughs> Next we have OPI grabs the unicorn by the horns. This is so stunning. Ugh, I love it. Next up we have throw me a kiss. This one is like the perfect wedding shade. Very subtle, but some bling in there too, some glam. Then we've got Freedom of Peach. This one is really beautiful. I really, really enjoy these peachy shades. 
some of my favorites to wear during the summer. Next we got Got Myself Into a Jambalaya. This is really pretty too. Love it. Oh, and just because I know that I'm going to get some questions, I am wearing on my nails one coat of Hollow Tacos, one coat black, and then the Orly and Lisa Frank collab um, topper it's called Hit the Spots. It's a fun topper, and I put a matte top coat over it. <laughs> All right, next we have Gelato on my mind. This is a beautiful color. Uh, getting Naughty on my honeymoon. I love some of OPI's names. They are just a lot of fun, but some of them, which we will get to here in this collection video, are just ridiculously long and it's annoying. <laughs> next one is Suzy-san Climbs Fuji-san. Really beautiful. I'm kind of going through these a bit quick because, like I said, we do have a lot of OPIs to get through. This one is Oh Susie Meal. It's so pretty. Next up, I can only wear OPI. Like an off-white. Really gorgeous. OPI does these types of shades very well, too. I really enjoy them. Next up is Mural Mural on the Wall. This one I'm a little bit iffy about. I really like those flakes in there, but the color is one of those colors that just makes your nails look like it's stained, so I'm kind of iffy about this one. Next up we have Seven Wonders of OPI. This one is gorgeous. And next up we have Chicago Champagne Toast. And I'll admit that I only got this one because it has Chicago in the title and that's where I'm from because I'm not a huge fan of the finish of this one, but I will give it a chance eventually. But this one is for sure a purchase just because of the name. Next up we have a Black Onyx and this one is OPI is black and it is excellent. Love this one. Next up we have Turn On the Northern Lights and this one is absolutely stunning. If you have it, you know it. It's a beautiful shade. Next up we have I Eat Mainly Lobster and look at the shimmer in there. It's really beautiful. Most of these, you guys, I actually got at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, so it's um, nice to save money on them. This one is called Life Gave Me Lemons. Really beautiful. It's an older OPI because of that logo. Next up, we have Things I've Seen in Abergreen. This is beautiful, too. One of my favorites. Next up is You've Got That Glass Glow, and this one is a classic. It's an absolutely stunning color. I kind of want to wear it right now. <laughs> Next up is OPI Ink. This one is stunning. Look at that. Love it. Next up is Let's Take an Elfie. This was from a holiday collection, a winter collection. Really beautiful. Next up we have crawfish, crawfishing for a compliment. Another corally color. On the camera, it's kind of coming up a little more orange than it actually is. Next up we have Mi Casa Es Blue Casa. And this one is from the Mexico collection. I'm waiting for them to make a Puerto Rico collection. Hello, OPI. <laughs> Next up, we have Let's Be Friends. This one is kind of a classic, too, with the Hello Kitty. Next up is Do You Have This Color in Stockholm? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And OPI, 
year so euro so pretty next up we have boys be thistling at me I love this one it's absolutely gorgeous next up is music is my muse this one is a bit of a jelly ish formula not the most opaque color out there but i did enjoy using this one for a monsters ink nail art look next up we have all a twitter and glitter it's a fun topper Then we've got Bling It On. I don't really like how these looked on the nail, but in the bottle, they look really gorgeous. Next up, we have Putting On The Glitz. And again, same thing. This one actually looks quite ugly on the nails. I, I don't know, just the base color in those flakes, it just doesn't really go. Somehow in the bottle, it looks better, but on the nail, that's a no. Next up, we have Naughty or Ice. This one is gorgeous. Love it. Then we have To All a Good Night. I believe all of these were from the 2020 holiday collection, something like that. Next, we have Worth a Pretty Penne. Really beautiful. OPI seems to do a lot of these kinds of shades, but they do them well. Next up is International Crime Caper. This is from TJ Maxx, and it still has some of the label residue. Then we've got Kosu Melted in the Sun. See, I feel like we've already seen a couple of these shades in just this first rack, and here's another one. All right, guys, that was the very first rack of OPI. We went that we went through that pretty quickly. Now I have the second rack right here, and let's go get into it. This one is called 50 Years of Style, and it was in collaboration with, is it the Ford Mustang? Really pretty. Next we have Susie Without a Paddle. These are gorgeous. I heard of someone who collects all of the Susie polishes from OPI, and I thought that that was really fun. Having a bunch of polishes named Susie something, it's really cool. Especially if your name is Susie, too. Next up, we have Race Red, and it's another one from the Mustang collection. Really pretty. Then we have Susie Nails New Orleans. Beautiful color. Next, we have This Isn't Greenland. My bottle is broken, but thankfully there's no leaks or anything like that, so that's okay. Another polish from the Mustang collection. This one is called Queen of the Road. Look at how gorgeous that is. And I love the cap, too. Next up, we have Solitaire, and this one is a liquid sand shade which means that they dry textured and you don't need to use a top coat next up we have all your dreams in vending machines i feel like opi also does these kinds of shades quite often i think we've seen one or two that look pretty similar already next up susie will catch while later i love Love shades like this. This is probably my ultimate favorite. Next up, we have Heart and Coal. And just look at that hollow. This is beautiful. This was from a holiday collection. Also stunning. Next up is Less is Norse. This one's really beautiful too. 
they're all really beautiful. I mean, duh. <laughs> Next up is Susie Needs a Locksmith, and this is one of my favorite oranges to wear in the fall. Nice and rustic. It's really beautiful. Next, we have Tinsel Tinsel Little Star. This one is gorgeous. Next up is Grandma Kissed a Gaucho. <sighs> I love these. This one seems a little more jolly just because, look, you can kind of see it right there in the bottle, the way that it is. I, I don't remember using it yet, so I can't remember off the top of my head. Next up is I'm So Swamped. I really enjoy this one. I also used it for that Monsters Ink nail art and it was so cute. Next up is Susie Chase's Portuguese. Another off-white. Next up is Susie Talks with her hands. Nice beautiful gray cream. Next up is Galeria Vittorio Violet, and this one is from a fall collection, I believe 2020, maybe? 2019? No, 2020. I don't know, but it was really beautiful. I did shake it up, but it was still a little separated there, but I like it anyway. Next up, we have Adio Bad Nails, Chow Great Nails. And this is from the Milan. Yeah, that's what it was called. The Milan Fall Collection. So beautiful. I absolutely love that collection. So far, one of my favorites from OPI. Next up is Duomo Days, Isola Nights. Next up is My Chihuahua Doesn't Bite Anymore. Really bright shade. Next up is Have Your Pantone and Eat It Too, and this one is another favorite orange. OPI's oranges for fall are my absolute favorite. They're just stunning. Next up is Gingerbread Man Can, and I really enjoyed this one too. It's really beautiful. Next up is Aurora Berealis, and this was actually one of the very first OPIs that I tried, and I really enjoy it. I love the berry colors like this. Next up, we have an older one, and this one, ooh, there we go. This one is called By the Light of the Moon. A lot going on in here and it's not quite picking up perfectly on camera but you get the idea <laughs> next is OPI nails the runway really enjoy this one too it's beautiful complimentary wine falling for Milan I'm telling you guys, this Milan collection was one of their best. My Italian is a little rusty. Again, another one I am in love with. Next up is Drama at La Scala. Next up, we have Danny and Sandy Forever, and this is from their Grease collection. Then we've got Funny Bunny. Next up, we have Behind the Scenes. This was from last year's spring collection. Now, you may notice that we have some infinite shines here. Honestly, I... It's just a matter of whatever I find first sometimes to purchase and review because I wouldn't say that the Infinite Shine line is worth the extra money. It's just they're both they're both the same in my eyes. I, I really don't fall for the gimmick of Infinite Shine um, being so much better than the regular line. Next up we have Emmy. Have you seen Oscar? I loved the names in this collection. They just they made me smile. <laughs> Then we have Destined to be a Legend. Rated PG. Movie Buff. This one is really stunning. 
to be continued. Nessie plays hide and seek. Look at how beautiful this is, you guys. This looks like an indie polish. It's absolutely stunning. Next up is Was It All Just a Dream? Award for the best nails goes to Janiksa. <laughs> hey, a girl can dream. <laughs> up is one of my favorites from that collection and it was I'm really an actress I'm really loving the OPI hollows look at how beautiful that is they may not be as intense as some indie brands but for a mainstream I will definitely take it next up is Susie calls the paparazzi beautiful pink Next up is 15 Minutes of Flame. Next up is I'm an Extra. This one's really pretty. Hollywood and Vibe. Okay, here's one of those that's really annoying with the long name. It's called Oh, You Sing, Dance, Act, and Produce. Why, OPI? Why? That, that's way too long. Beautiful color. Horribly long name. <laughs> and the last one on my second rack, I can't pronounce it. Super, super tropicalif. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. <laughs> but it's really beautiful. I got this at TJ Maxx. All right, guys, we just went through two of my OPI racks, and we did that pretty quickly. I am going to go ahead and get another one, and yeah, let's do this. All right, guys, this is my third rack, and after this rack, we're going to end this video. So I will be splitting my OPI collection video into two videos. I just think it'll be best. All right, getting into the first rack, this one is called Lima Tell You About This Color. Man, OPI really does do these pinks a lot. Next up is OPI Pops. And this one actually started popping up in a five and below. So that's where I got these. And I believe these are textured polishes too. So OPI is for five bucks at five below. That's worth it. Next up, we have Coca-Cola Red. This one is beautiful. I had to have it simply because it said Coca-Cola. <laughs> then we have Electrifying Pink from the Grease Collection. And this has a leather finish, so you don't put a top coat on it. Next up we have Pink Bubbly. Same um, textured polish as the other one. Then we have Damone Roberts 1968. This was a collab with a, I believe, makeup artist. Is it a makeup artist? Not sure. Um, but it is not available anymore except maybe on his website, which is where I got it from. And it's really, really stunning. Next up, I have Rydell Forever from the Grease Collection again. Then we have Grease is the Word. I'm sure you can guess what collection it's from. <laughs> then we have this one. I'm not going to say the name, but you can probably see it right there. Yeah, this one is a liquid sand, so it is another textured one. It's really beautiful. Next up, we have Don't Toot My Flute. Love it, of course. <laughs> Next up, we have on um, Pinks and Needles, and this is a beautiful topper. I would love to see OPI make toppers like this in every single color. That would be a lot of fun. 
Next up we have Mini Style, Mini Mouse inspired nail polish. Perfect. Next we have Petal Soft, another topper shade. Really pretty. Next up we have Glitzerland. Next up is Hue is the Artist. Next up is Days of Pop, another one of the textured polishes. This one's really pretty. Next up we have Orange You Fantastic, and this is really, really stunning for OPI. I want to see more stuff like this from them now. This is an older um, polish, but I would really love to see more of this from them now. This is really beautiful. Next up we have Lights of Emerald City. Next up we have My Private Jet. Oh, I love this one. This is a classic OPI. And we have This Color's Making Waves. It's really gorgeous too. Very indie-esque. Next up we have I Just Can't Copacabana. Leonardo's Model Color. Polly Wanna Lacquer. This one is really separated, even though I've just shaken it quite a bit. It's from the Grease Collection, Teal Me More, Teal Me More. Next up is That's What Friends Are Thor. Next up we have the classic Bubble Bath. Then we have Never a Dullest Moment. Then we have Hate to Burst Your Bubble. This is another textured polish. I really want to try these. I actually really love textured polishes. They're very fun for me. And here we have a bunch more textured polishes. This is from the Liquid Sand Collections. What wizardry is this? Look at how stunning this is, you guys. Next we have Honey Rider. Next we have Vesper. Do you see those flashes of purple at the top of the bottle? Really cool. Next up we have Tiffany Case. Look at how beautiful this is. Next we have Verde Nice to Meet You. And OPI's White, which is Alpine Snow. Next up we have Live Love Carnival. Next up we have This Gown Needs a Crown, and I believe this is from the Miss Universe collection. Next up we have No Turning Back from Pink Street. Next up we have another liquid sand and this one is called Warf Warf Warf. <laughs> Next up we have Today I Accomplished Zero. Cosmo Not Tonight Honey. Rice Rice Baby from the Tokyo Collection, and I love this name. It's so clever. Next we have Pop Star from the Textured Collection, and look at that shift of blue in there. That's really gorgeous. These look really good. I need to try them ASAP. Next up we have the It Color. This is beautiful, but I feel like the formula is not going to be that great on this. 
Next up, we've got, oi, another polish joke. <laughs> this is beautiful. I really am enjoying these older OPIs. They seem to have given us a lot of different finishes. Next up, we have Green Witch Village. This one needs a good shake. I did shake it up a little bit, but it still has ugly bottle syndrome. Next up, we've got Sun, Sea, and Sand in My Pants. Not really sure about the name of this one, <laughs> but it's a beautiful color. Next up, we've got Coconuts over OPI. And here, you guys, probably everybody's favorite OPI ever. Pineapples have peelings, too. <laughs> Look at how ugly this is. And I bought it simply because of how ugly it was. I don't know if I'll ever try it. I probably will just for fun. But this is horribly ugly. And I'm not sure what OPI was thinking when they made this. But it's kind of a classic. And I would say you definitely need it in your collection. Especially since you can still find it at a really good price. So this is going to be the final OPI polish of this video that we're going to look at. And... Yeah, it just feels right to end it with this one. <laughs> Again, this is Pineapples Have Peelings too. Alright guys, that's it for the first part of my OPI collection video. We've looked at three racks so far and I have two and a half more to go. So that'll be in a part two. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.